Um, so I think we are live. Awesome. All right. Hello, everyone. Welcome to another Board Game Barbecue live stream. Tonight, we are streaming a two-player game called Kyperium. I'm Jules, who will be teaching today, and I've got with me Dan. How are you doing, Dan? Good, man. How are you? I'm excited about this. Awesome. Yeah. I'm really excited for it. Hello, everyone. Welcome to... And so... Obviously, um, you can see we're playing on Tabletop Simulator at this time. Um, hopefully, we've got everything set up correctly. Please let us know in the chat if you can't hear either one of us. And hopefully, we've got everything right and we'll get this underway. Hmm. So, for the purposes of those watching at home, I am player on your left. <laughs> and Jules is the cosmic one. That's it. Or the orange and purple player. Okay, so let's jump into the rules and um, teach everyone how to play this. So, uh, Kyperium is a two-player game. It's a head-to-head -head game. It's a very competitive, take-that sort of game. And um, the theme of this game is you're playing as corporations that have d are going out into the Kuiper Belt, uh, which contains a new and extremely valuable resource called Kyperium. And what we're going to be doing is building um, out this space station um, to you know, in this uh, part of the universe, and we're going to be completing projects to score discovery points. So ultimately, uh, what we're doing is racing up this victory point track, gaining discovery points, and it's the first person to reach the five planet on the end of the track there wins the game. Mm -hmm. So on your turn, you can... <laughs> excuse me, you can take one action and they're pretty straightforward and we'll go through each of them. So there's a player aid on the side here and I'll work my way top down of these actions. So first one is to play a card. We each get to start with a hand of five cards and I'll just pull a hand at the moment just to do some examples of what you can do when playing a card. So in front of us, we have already started some of this um, space station. So there's a clear dividing line between our two halves of the board, and that will become important and very clear as to why that is soon. When you play a card, you play it on your side of the board. So, for example, I could play a card here. Okay? When you play a card, you get to activate the text ability on that card for yourself. I won't go through all the different cards. There's a huge deck of them. There's lots of varying abilities, but um, they're pretty straightforward. We'll explain them as the game goes on. Uh, that is all you do for playing a card. There's nothing else to it. Play it down and activate the ability. The next option you have is to place a worker. Now, this is where the game of Kyperion becomes very interesting. Each of the cards we play down are worker placement locations. But when we play cards down in our area, we're, what we're actually doing is we're placing cards that are the worker placement locations for our opponent. So when I'm playing workers, I actually have to place them on Dan's side of the board. The rewards for those worker placement locations are printed at the top of the card. And we'll go through what the symbology is. But... For the purposes of this action of placing a worker, anywhere you see this sort of grey space symbol, that is a worker placement location. And you can see that the four starting locations on each of our sides of the board have those. And we'll go through what these do in a minute as well. So that's placing a worker. The other option you have for actions is to discard your entire hand and draw a hand of four more cards. Pretty simple. The next action is to add a card to your secret lab. <clears throat> so we each have a secret lab location on our sides of the table. The secret lab is a place for us to store a card. It doesn't count as being in our hand, and some cards have the requirement that they have to be played from the secret lab. So the, some of the more powerful cards are a two-step process to take out. First play it to the secret lab, and then play from secret lab out onto the board. 
but that's essentially what the secret lab does. It's a holding zone that's kind of protected. It doesn't, it's not considered as in hand. Then the last action is to recall your workers. So when you recall your workers, that's when you get the benefits of the locations that you've chosen. You can, when you recall workers, you recall all of them. It doesn't matter if you have just one, two, or all three of them out. When you recall workers, you must resolve each location fully before moving on to the next, but you can choose the order in which they, uh, you activate those um, workers. So if I was to pull this worker off and recall it, in this case, I would gain one Kyperium, which is the, <coughs> excuse me, which is the resource of the game, and I get to draw a card. Pretty simple. Um, going through the other symbology, we've got uh, the Mod Factory. Now, this is one of the most important locations. This allows you to complete projects, and we'll come to how that works. Uh, this one, the mining installation, just allows you to get one Kyperium. The, uh, the smuggling freighter, that allows you to draw two cards, and you've got the spy network. So the, the spy network, <coughs> excuse me, um, what that allows you to do is to discard a card from your hand, and I'll have to double check here, but I've, I've forgotten this is quite new. Yeah, it allows you to pay one Kyperium, discard a card from your hand, and you get the recall rewards from that card. So the worker placement rewards. So that's a little um, a little bit of flexibility if um, you want that there. So pay one, discard the card, and you get the worker placement rewards. Um, all right, so how do we actually score the points? So... What we're trying to do is, in placing these cards down, the rules are you must be connecting to somewhere on the space station, whether it's um, a direct edge touching or at least diagonal corners touching. Those are legal placements. What we're looking to do is to have synergies in matching the colored corners on the cards. Now, there's, as you can see here, red, there's yellow, there's blue and green, but there's also wild which is this rainbow color here. When we go to complete a project, we obviously have to have a worker on the mod factory. We need to recall that worker, spend four Kyperium, and select a card on our side of the board to complete. So you're placing workers on the opposite side, but you're completing cards on your side. And what we're doing is we're looking for matching colors. So if I was to choose this card here, you look at the corners that are matching on all the sides of the card. So just as an example here, this card, you can see it's got blue and red, so they're not matching, but I have green, green, and the wild here. You do not count any of the cor corners on the card you're completing. You only look at the card surrounding it. So in this case, I have a synergy value of two for this card. I would then discard this card when I'm completing it, and for every synergy uh, uh, you have or is the discovery points that you'll earn. So I'll get to go up two spaces on the track here. Now, the track has a few rewards seeded on, the, on there for certain planets. Like if you were to visit here, you'd get two Kyperium. Um, there's strategy cards, which you can activate when you reach here, and we'll get to that in a minute, as well as a few other rewards. The, <coughs> the important thing to note is that when you get to locations that have a value of more than one, you have to earn the points from one single action to, uh, to move on to that location. So if I was to rec if Dan was to recall a work from here, this would give him one victory point, this gold uh, symbol. He can't use that and another point that he gets points from to move from this location up to this one. The points must be from one single action. So it's a really important thing to denote there. Um, basically, the game keeps going back and forth until someone reaches this point um, and they immediately win the game. Now, the other symbology I, I haven't pointed out quite yet is located on this player aid here. 
So we've got the worker placement locations for that satellite symbol. We've got below that the gain Y1 Kyperium. Below that is the secret lab symbol, so the card must be played from there. Below that, the Kyperium symbol in the orange um, background is a reward you can only gain if you're recalling all three of your workers at once. So if you do any less, you cannot unlock that ability. Moving up to the top right is drawing a card. Below that is moving your worker or an opponent's worker. This is where some of the take that can come in. Below That's that, the you can Jules see... Loves. Yes, the destroy opponent's Kyperium. So you can actually destroy each other's resource. And then below <clears> that, the gold symbol is gain one discovery point. That is pretty much how you play the game. Um, we'll do a quick reset here. We just had a question from Mark on the chat as well. How many workers does each player have available to deploy? Uh, each person has three workers available to deploy. Yeah, so mind out, you'll yeah. never have more than three. Actually, there's one more thing I'll point out. The very first, each uh, of these projects has a, a color. So you're looking for those synergies in the corner, but also there's a color border that denotes the color. The first time you complete a project of that color, you'll get to flip over uh, one of these, um, these bonuses on your player area. That will allow you to do one of two things. You can either, every time from then on, when you place a blue card, you'll get to put a worker out for free, or there's a bonus on those cards um, that you can, you can choose to take. And each of them are different for the four different types of projects. They're very straightforward. The gray ones allow you to draw two cards. The red ones can give you a, a victory point. The blue ones is gain a Kyperium and destroy a Kyperium. And the teal or green ones allow you to pay one Kyperium to move a worker. Mm -hmm. So when those get unlocked, you start to get a few more combos going and a bit more synergy as well. Cool. Okay. Did you want to quickly go through strategy cards or we'll just cover them when we get to it? <clears throat> uh, yeah, we'll cover things when we get to it. We'll talk through the cards that we place out and read the abilities and what we're doing. Um, one thing I'll just re um, point out is that the card icon has two options. You can draw a card or put a card into your secret lab. So whenever you're drawing cards with this, um, this action, it's draw card or put in secret lab. So you have that flexibility. Mm -hmm. Okay. <clears throat> Shall we get started? Sure. All right. See so, if questions we'll... from the chat. No. Place hide your it. bets now, everyone. Oh, God. As if anyone's going to be backing me. <laughs> <laughs> this is going to be the old, it's going to be the old Aussie underdog story. This one. You watch. Yeah, that's it. That's it. Okay. Um, we get a hand of five cards each, mm -hmm. and we also get three strategy cards. So the strategy cards, we won't need to explain right now. No. Just know that they come into play when we reach the number three point planet on the track. At that point, when we reach the planet, we can choose to activate one of these strategy cards. So we keep them hidden until that point. Um, but they're just a little bonus that we can sort of unlock at that point in the game. It gives us something to sort of focus on and build towards and strategize towards um, to sort of the midpoint of the game. Okay. Um, now, we've drawn our hand of five cards. We do get a free mulligan, so we can discard as many as we want and draw back up to five if we don't like what we've got. So we'll take a minute to yeah, just read our gonna, hand. I'm going to use that, I think. Okay. You may move. Okay. Okay. Thinking hard, strategizing hard. It's going to be difficult because <laughs> <clears throat> I don't, I, I don't want to give my strats away of what I'm planning on doing. I'm just going to have to talk about what I'm actually doing. Yeah. <clears throat> <clears throat> um. <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm going to keep my hand. I'm happy with it. So just let me know when you're happy with yours, Dan. 
Hmm. So if you want to discard, they'll go to the bottom of the deck. We'll s sort cool. that out. Um, I'm gonna f I'll, just, I'll put them down the bottom in a minute. I'm just going to discard that one. Uh, so Mark um, asks a good question in the chat. So you play the cards right way facing up facing you. So the ability of the text will face you as you read it. The worker placement spots, you'll notice the iconography will be facing your opponent. So it's very natural to the, the way that the cards are designed, it, that you just play them facing you and the worker placement icons will be the right way up facing for your opponent. In, in the mod here, the, the starting ones aren't quite facing the right way, but that's that's fine. We can, we can deal with that. I should say, none of this is final. It's very close to final. If there's any rule changes, they'll be very minor as well as artwork. Um, but there is a link in the video description. If you want to go follow the project, please go and support um, these guys out. Whitewater Castle is the publisher. Um, there's two designers for this game. They're fantastic people. It's their first project, so give them some love. Go, go hit follow on the uh, the Kickstarter link. They'd appreciate that a lot. Okay. So I've discarded two, and I've popped them back underneath the yep. draw pile. And Very good. Um, I'm okay, you I'm okay if you go first. You don't want to roll the die? Uh, <laughs> no. Okay. I just, I just need a bit of a G up. I need to follow your lead. I've only played this once before, so. Okay. All right. I'm going to start by placing a card. Um, okay. I'm going to start by placing a card in my secret lab. Huh. It's funny. That, that will be my first action. <laughs> I was actually going to do the same. I'm just going to pop this. I'll flip it down. Pop it down there. Yep. I'm also going to place a card in my secret lab. Okay. Easy. All right. All right. Let's go with... Let's go with this then, shall we? We'll place out this card. Mm-hmm. So, it says force your opponent to discard a card from hand, then if the opponent's further up the track, I get to draw a card. You're not further, so I won't get to draw a card, but you must discard a card. Oh, goody. Let's see what the last two were. <laughs> um, can you remind me what a staging area is? In terms of uh, Staging uh, area is your play area in front of you. Right, yes. Um, okay, I'll delete this. I'll delete. I'll discard this one. Just pop it over cool. the other side. Easy. Cool. Just uh, chuck your strategy cards on the table face down so they're not in your hand as well. Okay. I'll pop these over here. Next to my crystals. Done. Actually, didn't even have a look at them. <clears throat> Probably should. <clears throat> okay, let's have a quick look. Hey, what have we got? Mm, this one. This one. What did you place? Okay, okay. So if I was to place a worker here, then when I recall mm -hmm. it, I'll get a yep. Kyperium yeah. crystal and I'll get to remove uh, damage or remove one of yours. Right. Yeah. Yep, that's right. Okay. Alternatively. Um, okay, I'm gonna start by doing that. I'm gonna take one of my workers. Um, I'm gonna my action's gonna be place a worker and I'm gonna place him yep. in this location here. Okay. Over to me. Uh, let's see. Hmm.
Okay. Um, let's go. I'm going to play this card from my um, secret lab. Mm -hmm. So we're going to go right here. And it just allows me to take an additional action. Nice. So that will go there. And then I'm going to place a worker uh, right here. So the thing I like about this game is that while that's actually a really good um, a good action for ju for jewels, it's actually a really good worker placement spot for me too. So if I yes, was to place a worker the... here, I'm going to get two discovery points and the ability to smash one of his crystals when I recall yep, absolutely. Workers. So that's super handy. Yeah, it's one of the really clever things. The, the, the cards that have the powerful abilities for you have mm. powerful worker placement spots for your opponent. It's really yeah. well balanced. All right, your turn. Ah, that's a good one. I just don't know where to. Okay. Again, I gotta. I want to talk out loud and talk through my thoughts for the chat, but I also don't want to do it because then you'll hear what I'm doing. Uh, <clears throat> um. Okie dokie. Got to put some cards out for me, Dan. Oh, I know. I'm, I'm interested to <laughs> in see what happens if I don't. Yeah, um, I'm going to place. I'm, I'm going to place a worker. I'm going to place a worker okay. here in the mod factory. Okay. All right. I will. And I'm also going to wish I hadn't. Uh, let's see. I'm going to place a card in Secret Lab. Mm -hmm. Done. Hmm. Okay, I'm going to place... Mistakes were made, folks. Um, <laughs> yes, I'm gonna, already. Oh, God, yeah. All right, I'm going to place <laughs> um, this one. Okay. Um, uh, we'll pop it here. Yep. And that is, I get to destroy one Kyperium, or if I played it from the secret lab, which I did, I gain two discovery points. Oh, very nice. So I can use those discovery points to move my worker. Yep. Along this track. You move it up the track. Which is yep. one... Up two. two spots. Yeah. That's it. Obviously, I can't go there because I didn't earn three. Correct. So it would have been one plus two. Exactly. Yep. Okay. Uh, let's go. All right. Uh, yeah, let's go with the one from my secret lab. We'll place it down here. So I gain one Kyperium, or if this card was played from the secret lab, I gain two Kyperium and I draw a card. Nice. So I'll get two Kyperium and draw a card. Done. Very good. Okay. I'm going to place another worker. Mm-hmm. I'm going to place it on the one that you just played. Yep. Plop. Okay. Getting your um your wilds out there very nicely. Yeah, that's it. Uh, all right. I'm gonna. Play it's interesting this though. That it's interesting the card with the, the card with the wild synergies in <laughs> two two corners also has blanks in the other two corners as well. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah. you'll find a lot of wild cards have blanks. Mm. Just to okay. mess with you. Yeah, that's it. Exactly. <clears throat> all right. I'm gonna play this card here. So it allows me, it says, I may move one of my workers. And if I did, I can move an opponent's worker. So I'm going to move my <laughs> worker here. This is how it happens, folks. And I'll move. 
this guy uh, to over here on the spy network. Mm-hmm. Now, you st- now you can start to see the the take that nature of this game. It is very take yeah. that. It's very chess like as well. You, mm. You're pushing your luck a little bit sometimes with trying to recall all three workers where just just on the spots that you've put them on and you really want them there. Yeah, it's tricky. Okay, so my action is going to be... Uh, whoop, I'm just showing this for the uh, folks at home. I'm, I'm going to recall mm-hmm. all of my workers. Yep. And when I recall workers, I can do it in any order. Any order, but you have to fully resolve them one at a time. Yep. So first what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'm going to collect this worker here. And I'll collect yep. two Kyperium crystals and I'll actually draw another card. So yep. we'll pop this dude back So here. as a reminder, the, the card symbol allows you to draw a card or put into your secret lab. Yep, that's cool. I'll just drag one, pop it in my... I'll put it down the end so I just don't get lost. And also two crystals out of my baggie of crystals. Mm-hmm. Yep. <clears throat> this one over here, I get to draw a crystal, but also smash one of jewels. So jewels have to pop one back. Yep, so I'll destroy one of those. And I'll, oops, like it's going for right. So another crystal for me. And this one over here is my spy network. Now I'm assuming the spy network would be optional. Would yeah, no, nothing yeah. is mandatory. Yep. So you don't you don't have to pay a Kyperium and discard <clears throat> no, a card. That's fine. I, I'm actually going to, I just wanted to clarify. So I'll yep. recall that from the spy network. And the spy network action is that I can pay one Kyperium and discard one of my cards but actually recall the rewards from that card. Yes. Yep. So this is the card that I'm going to do. I'm going to pay. I'm okay. going to take, so take get... one Kyperium, put that back in my bag. Yep. And I'm going to be able to draw two new cards plus get a discovery point. That's it. So I'll flip that over. I'll take the discovery point and I'll draw two new cards. Okay, Super my heavy. turn. Uh, right. So, we're going to play this one. So, it says destroy one opponent's Kyperium, and then if your opponent's further up the track, I gain two Kyperium. <laughs> so, I get two because you are further and you lose one. I'll destroy one. That's me done. Interesting. Okay, I'm going to play this one. Plop. Which mm-hmm. allows me to choose one. I can get a discovery point. I can take two Kyperium crystals or I can draw two cards. Ooh. Yeah, and they're all bloody good. Um, yeah. I think I might... Don't think I need the cards right now. I think I might take two Criperium crystals. One, two. Okay. Okay. Yep, you're up. <clears throat> All right. I'm going to play this card uh, here. And it allows me to place a worker and then recall a different worker. So mm-hmm. I'm going to place a worker on the mod factory and recall yep. this one out here. That will give me one Kyperium. One discovery point and a card. Oh, nice! Because you take the action from what you record him from. Correct. Exactly. Yep, yep. Beautiful. Done. Saving that one. Um... Huh. Interesting. I think I'm going to... 
I'm going to place a worker. Okay. And I'll pop him there. Okay. Uh, I think at this point, I'm actually just going to recall. So I'm going to recall from the mod factory. So I'll pay for Kyperium. And that will allow me to complete a card. Mm -hmm. And I think I'm going to have to pull away this one. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course. So this is something we haven't seen. If I complete <clears throat> a project and there's an opponent worker on it, Guess where that worker goes? <laughs> Back home. Um, on the best card out there? Yeah, that's it. I can't let yeah. you have that anymore. <laughs> yeah. All right. So I've completed this one. Its synergy value is it's got one matching from the wild here. So when there's a wild, you have to declare which color it is. So in this case, I could say blue or yellow. It doesn't mm -hmm. really matter. But I'll say yellow for this case. There's one matching there. And I've got a wild here as well. So I can declare that to be any color. So two mm -hmm. is my synergy um, for that card. So it will go away and I'll get to move up two discovery points. And I'll take that up to this level two planet because I gained both of those points in one action. And that level two, that planet will give me two Kyperium. Mm -hmm. And it was a blue project. So I'll get to flip over this blue um, affinity bonus. So now whenever I place a blue card, I can put a worker out for free or I can gain a Kyperium and destroy a Kyperium. So either one of those options when I play yep. a blue card. Beautiful. Okay. I'm going to place this card. Oh. Which doesn't really... Allow me to do anything. The action is just to play. But you'll notice for the viewers at home that it's actually got four dead lights on it. That's it. So we'll, we'll actually, we'll rotate this around. So it is the correct way as well. So that card's a bit unique. It says you play it in your opponent's area. Yeah. And as Dan said, mm -hmm. four dead lights. So it just clogs up my space with useless stuff. Yay for me. Huzzah. I'm sure you'll find a way to remove it. <laughs> Before the night is out, <clears throat> uh, I'll try. I'll try. Okay. Um. Let's. Ah, uh, you know what? I'm gonna put this card in my secret lab. Hmm. Done. I haven't had this one before. I'm going to play this one. It's okay. um, reveal the top card of the deck and then place it in your staging area. So just drag one off. Oh, the top. yep. But you, you ignore the ability. So you're really placing oh, the new it card, for, the, yeah. Yeah. for the lights. But hopefully it's got yep. something I can use. Hmm. Not great. <laughs> Let's go with that. Okay, cool. Um, my action is going to be to discard my whole hand and draw four cards. I don't have any cards in hand. That doesn't matter though. So cool. I'll draw four cards. Done. Um, right, I'm going to place a worker. What have you got over here for me? Um, let's do... Let's do that one. Okay. Oh, actually, I should have had a look first. Sorry. Me too. I know I took my You're finger right. off it. It's all right. Um, yep. Yeah, okay. Okay. The reason the reason I did that is because there's two cards that offer this the exact same um, actions. Yes. Yep. But I wanted to see which one Jules was less likely to remove because last time I put a right. worker on one of his cards, he decided to <laughs> get rid of that card and All left right. me in the lurch. 
<clears throat> I'm going to place this one. We've seen this before. Force your opponent to discard a card. And if your opponent's further up the track, I can draw a card. And guess what? Dan is further up than me, so I'll get to draw a card. Yeah, one while he discards one. Both pretty juicy. I think they're both juicy, are they? They are, yeah. <laughs> I'm just going to see which one's actually. I've got so there's the action taken into consideration, but also what, where the synergy lights are on the corners, which one's more useful to me. Yeah. Um, <laughs> okay. I think I'll bin this one. Okay. Flip and get rid of it. Over to you. Danke schön. Um, okay, I'm going to place this guy over here in the mod factory. That's my turn. Okay. Um, let's see. All right, I think I'm going to place this one, but where is it going to go? That is the question. Ah, uh, look, I think it'll have to go up here. So this says destroy one opponent's Kyperium, and then if your opponent's further up the track, I gain two Kyperium. So I will gain two, and Dan will lose one. And because yeah. it's a blue card, I can either place a worker or destroy a Kyperium and gain a Kyperium. I think I'll go for place a worker. And we're going to place it uh, here. Hmm. Your turn, Dan. Thank you. Thank you. Um, okay. I'll place a worker. I'm going to pop my worker out over here. Click. Okay. Um, let's see. Do, do, do. All right, let's go for this one. Place that one, I can choose one. Either gain a discovery point, two Kyperium, or draw two cards. I'm going to go for the two cards. Mm. And because that was a blue card, I've unlocked that blue affinity. I'm going to place out another worker, and I'll put it um, on the mod factory. Mm -hmm. Okay. Surely the recall. Oh, the recall. I'm going to recall my workers, Jules. Yeah, okay. <laughs> play, the ob play the obvious move, just to see. <laughs> it's a bold move, Cotton. Let's see how this strategy plays out. <clears throat> okay. Um, all right, so the first one is I'm going to draw from the back here, which gives me two Kyperium, and I get to draw mm -hmm. a card. Yep. So i pop him back there. One, two Kyperium, and I'll draw a new card, which I'll have a look at later. Um, second work comes in, which gains me a Kyperium and also a discovery point. Yep. So, um, that's my discovery point. Mm -hmm. That's my Kyperium. And then I'm going to recall the mod factory. Nope, sorry. That's wrong, mine. wrong mod factory. <laughs> I didn't scroll far enough off the screen. There we go. <laughs> And to action the mod and factory, it's going to cost me four Kyperium. One, two, three, four. Yep. And I have to. Um, we'll just go by the. Choose a card on my side. Yes. Count the yep, synergy on your value side. and gain that many number of discover discovery points. I'm thinking I'm going to do this one here. Okay. So by my count, so Jules, that should be four discovery points. 
So if I, yep. if I so you got nominate, the... if I nominate green, green as my wild. Yep. So, so that'd be one, one two, two, and then the three, two red four. on the other side. Yep. And yep. That that's right. Come off and get discarded. Yep. So four. So one plus three is four. That's it. And then on this Perfect. location, so now I get to play a strategy yeah, card. Play one of my strategy cards, which I had a quick look at, but and that and project is, you is, completed was blue, so yeah, you get okay, to I'll unlock the first. blue. So I'll unlock my blue. Yep. Yep. Put that dude are over. Now this is the only time you can play strategy cards, isn't it? This is the only one, and you only get to play yep. one of your three. Cool. So I might as well just open them up, and we can have a look at them together. Yeah, absolutely. I say when I say we, I mean Team Dan in the chat. <laughs> <clears throat> okay, so one is I can choose and do two. I can draw four cards. I can gain four Kyperium, or I can destroy four of jewels. Mm -hmm. um, this one I can move any number of workers, and then destroy one Kyperium. Well, that was no good because I don't have any workers out there. But you can move mine. Oh, okay. Oh, hmm, yeah. Interesting. Oh, I actually like this one, though. This is espionage. If my opponent has a okay. card in their secret lab, you may add it to your hand and gain five Kyperium. You may add a card oh. to your secret lab. Oh, there you go. So I'm going to play that one. So you get this card in your hand. Yep. I'm just popping these back. So I'm going to have an... Oh, yeah, that's right. Yep. Yep, so, go for it. Oh, there's no secret as to what it is. So. No. Um, oh, it's not rotating for some reason. There we go. Uh, what is it? Move a card. Oh, is that all? Yeah. No, it's nothing crazy. Oh. I just thought I'd have it in the bank. <laughs> oh, I got you. So you put that in the bank so that you could draw, you could draw four new cards, yeah? Correct, yeah. I was like, oh, uh, that ability get, might be helpful. Didn't I get sucked in? I thought this was going to be some crazy card that you were <laughs> getting ready to unleash no, on me and crazy. I was going to throw it back at you. And the last part of that card was actually get to draw four, uh, five Kyperium as well. Yes, that's right. So one, two, three. Okay. Four. That was Which, a nice turn. Yeah, could be a bit risky depending on what you've got. All right. Back to me. So... Uh, I'm going to play this card, but where is the question? We're going to go here. So this one allows me, it says, if opponent has no workers in play, I can play a worker. I will do that. Hmm. So I'll go right here. Over to you. <clears throat> okay. I don't like that card, but I can see how it would be useful. Hang on, where's the... Oh, no, I didn't... Decisions, decisions. Mm. I'm also conscious of not APing and just dragging this stream out for another four hours. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> um, oh, hang on. Okay, I'm gonna move. I'm gonna pop this card out. Mm -hmm. Let's just remove a worker. Are uh, yours or your opponent's? I don't have one, so it's gonna be yours. Uh, actually, no, I don't like that one. Can't I'm taking it back. It's not move. It's remove. Okay. Yeah. No point in removing because you just put it straight back out next turn. That's right. Yep. Um. Yeah.
Okay, I'm just going to pop some workers out, a worker out, I should say. Okay. Um, and I'm going to... Actually, I quite liked this one. I'll put it back there again. Okay. All right, I'm going to recall. Yep. So, pull this one back. I'll get one Kyperium, one Discovery Point, and draw one card. I'm going to just zoom out so because you're just going to do it really quickly. <clears throat> I'm not going to be able to follow you. And I'll recall this one. So, that will get me another Kyperium and another Discovery Point. And then I'll recall this one. And I'll get to complete a project. So I'll pay my four Kyperium. One, two, three, and four. And I'm going to complete this card. So the synergy is one, two, three, four. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I'll pull him out. That was a red project. So I get to flip that bonus over. And I'll go up four spaces. So that's one, two, three, four. Yep. So we're on the same spot now. Nice. Do you want to read out what the um what the red bon bonus is now? Uh, so the red bonus, if I play a red card, I can put out an e worker, or I can gain a discovery point. Wow! Every time I play a red card. Yep. Great. Okay. That's, fan that's fantastic, Jules. Well done. Pretty good. Um. So now I get to play a strategy card because I've reached that number three planet. Yeah. And I think I'm gonna play. This strap, one, it's not fantastic. In first. It's not fantastic. Look, okay, I'll flip them all out mm. and pull them out so you can see. Now, there's a few of these that are literally removing workers from the game, which is pretty brutal. Yeah. And I don't think I'm going to go down that road. Um, I think the one I'm going to take is this one, Sabotage. So I get to remove a card from your area and I get its recall reward. Mm -hmm. Yeah, There's nothing super juicy out there, but um, I'll do that nonetheless. So I'm going to remove this one. Yeah. So I'll get a Kyperium, I'll get a Discovery Point, and I'll get to draw a card. And this one and that. gets removed from the game. Yep, straight into the discard. Boom. That is my turn done. Cool. Hmm. Um. Okay, I'm going to place a card. Pop this one down here. And it says yep. that I can gain one Kyperium for each other KP bot, which is the red card in my staging area, which is only have one, which is this one here. Yes. So I get one Kyperium. Yep. Beautiful. Better than a poke in the eye with a sharp stick. Okay. I think I like this plan. Uh... Hmm. Let's see. I'm going to place a card in my secret lab. That's okay. me done. I'm going to place a worker. I'm just going to place a worker on... Mm -hmm. The smuggling freighter. Okay. That's me done. I'm going to, I'm going to play from my secret lab and we're going to go, we're going to go here. Yeah, not bad. So I gain one Kyperium or if this was played from the secret lab, I can discard a card from the staging area, mine or my opponent's. I'm going to get rid of this junk that you put in my area. <laughs> I knew you'd find a way. <laughs> cool. That is me done. Nice, nice. Just 
Gee whiz. I'm tempted to recall my workers right now. Just wondering whether that would be a waste. Is there a hand limit? Uh, eight is the hand limit. Oh, yeah, no worries. I'm not even going to touch the sides of that. <coughs> <laughs> um, oh, look, what the hell? I put one more. I notice we don't have any of the cards where you get the bonus for having all of them out there. I'm used to having that bonus. No, we we just haven't seen any. Yeah. Um, I'll put so Dan's one referring I'll, to the the reward that has an an orange ba um background behind it, which is you only get if you recall all three at once. We just haven't yeah. seen those cards yet. We saw it quite a lot the first time we played. We did, yeah. Oh, we've so given the deck of, a now shuffle. I'm, now I'm thinking. I, I need to put all three workers out, but I don't. You can, I mean, you before you, no. one, you just put one worker out and record it straight away. Yep, absolutely. Yeah. Okay, I am going to. Um, Chat's a bit quiet tonight. I'm going to place this card. So oh. this allows me to draw one card for each other red card in my staging area. So there's only one other, so I'll just draw one card. Yep. And that was a red one, which I've unlocked the bonus for. Mm -hmm. So I'll get to put out a worker and we'll go right here. Nice. Uh, actually, no. Sorry, I'm going to go... Uh... Yeah, no, I will go on that one. I'll stick with it. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, I'm going to recall my workers. Yep. Um, it doesn't really matter what order, but I'll, I'll do it this order. So I'll take this one first, which gives me one Kyperium and one Discovery Point. So mm -hmm. I'll take a Kyperium out, and I'll move myself one spot along the Discovery track. No, that can't be right. I was We were on the same spot, weren't we? Ah, uh, sorry. I moved my... Oh, hang on. No, moved, that's you. Um, yeah. No, there we go. Yep. You're here. So I'm orange. Nice. Yeah. That's it. It's because I got orange right in front of me. I'm thinking I'm orange, but uh, sorry, I'm purple. Yeah. <laughs> um, okay, this one, I recall this worker, and I get two cards. Yep, so it's draw oh, two, two or two. remember, you can always place in secret lab. Yeah, no, it's okay. And this one is two Kyperium and one card. Yep. Two Kyperium and one card. Okay. Gives me a few more. Okay. Options. All right. We're going to play. We're going to play this one here. So it says destroy one opponent's Kyperium, but if I control at least three KP bots, which are the red cards, I can destroy two instead. So I'll destroy okay. two of your Kyperium. No worries. I'll take this one. Oops. You got a lot of them there. I, f I figured they would actually be a target for you. Yeah. Now, it is a red card, so I get to put out someone again. So, I'm going to place... Uh... Yep, I'll just go on there. <coughs> All done. Hmm, 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 hmm. Okay, I'm going to put this card out here, mm -hmm. which says that I can draw one card for each other KP red card yep. in my staging so area, which, of which I have two. So I'll draw two more cards. Nice. Which is kind of important because I need to start getting my synergies all lined up. <clears throat> yeah, yeah. Um... Hmm. 
don't feel like I really need that right now. Oh, interesting. Hmm. All right. Think what we're going to do. Think it out loud, Jules. Come on. All right. Well, we're <laughs> going to place this one here. Yep. <clears throat> uh, it says I can discard a card from my staging area, but if my opponent's further up, I can discard from theirs. You're not further, so I'm just going to get rid of a card from my staging area. Mm -hmm. I'm actually going to get rid of this one here. Okay. Done. What was I looking at before? I'll play this one. This one's interesting. Okay. Um, reveal and discard the top card of the deck, but it automatically gain the card's re recall reward. Oh, nice. Come on, baby. Be a good one. Let's have a look. Oh, three, three cards. Three cards. Oh, that's, that's nothing to sneeze at. You'll hit your hand limit if you draw three, but remember you can always use one of them as a place in secret lab. One, two, three, four, five. That's okay. Yep. So I'll draw three more. So I'm at my hand. Okay. Limit. Yep. Yep. All right. Uh, I'm just going to place out a worker. Your turn. Yeah. I'm going to place out a worker as well. Okay. I'm going to recall. So I'll mm -hmm. do this one first. Sure. So I get a Kyperium and a Discovery Point. Oh. Oh. Right there. Recall oh. this one. It'll give me a Kyperium and destroy two of yours. Mm -hmm. And two. recall this one to uh, complete a project. And I'm going to do this one here. So it has a synergy of one, two, three. Mm -hmm. So I'll pay my four Kyperium. And I'll move one space here. Now I have this, the track splits here. So I have a decision to make mm. to either destroy two Kyperium, draw two cards, or move two workers. Uh, feel like the cards is most helpful to me. So I'm going to go here and draw two cards. Actually... I'm going to use one of them to place in my secret lab. Yep. And one to draw. It's a nice little juncture, that little spot on the discovery yeah. track. It's a little, little tasty decision. Yeah. That's... Oh, sorry. Uh, I pull this card out. And that was a teal project. So I get to flip over the bonus for that. Yep. So now whenever I play a teal card, I can play a, place an extra worker. Or I can pay one Kyperium to move a worker. Oh, yes. I forgot. I actually, yeah. I didn't take my blue um, action, Oh yes, my blue bonus when I placed the blue one here, which was to reveal the top. Yep. So my blue one is I can actually take one or destroy one. So I'll take a Kyperium because I don't think it wouldn't have mattered. Oh, it's I'd take just... and destroy. Oh, is it? Okay. Yeah. So I have one left over. So that wouldn't yep. have affected my turn. Yep. Sure. <clears throat> Cool. Sweet. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, okay. Your turn. Sorry, what have I got here? All right. Well, Dan's thinking. I'd love to hear in the chat. What are people thinking of the game so far? Any any questions or clarifications that you want? Oh, this. Hmm. Okay. 
I'm going to move this. I'm going to place a worker and I'm going to pop him on. Let's have that there. Okay. Okay. All right. I am going to. Oh, that doesn't quite line up. Not quite. Hmm. All right, I'll do this. Oh, actually, I've got this in my secret lab. What can I do with that? Oh, yeah, yeah. I don't want to do that yet, though. Oh, this is awkward timing. Okay. I think I will play this one. Um, we'll place it over here. So mm -hmm. I get a Kyperium for each worker, my each of my opponent's workers in my staging area. So you got two out, so I'll gain yeah. two Kyperium. I had one of those before and I was waiting. I was waiting. I think I ended up yep. burning it instead, but it's nice. Ah, uh, and I've played a teal one, which I've unlocked the bonus for. So I'm just mm -hmm. going to scoochie your worker uh, onto the spy network. Nice. Actually, no. I'm going to spy send it on the mining installation. If I'm honest, I would have preferred the spy network. <laughs> <laughs> I know. That's why I changed it. <laughs> uh, all right, dealer's choice. Um, Sorry, I have to pay one Kyperium to do that. Gotcha. There we go. That bonus is nice. Hmm. <laughs> Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Sorry. All good? All good. <clears throat> it's probably inevitable you're going to complete something, but I'll just make it annoying along the way. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's fine. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna um, place a card in my secret lab. Boom. Okay. I think I'm gonna play from my secret lab, to be honest. I think that's what I wanna do. I thought you just did. I'm gonna play this from my secret lab. All right, so we're gonna play this. We're going to go there. That's a nice one. So, I can, I may discard up to 3 KP bots, the red cards, from my staging area and gain a discovery point and a Kyperium for each. Hmm. So, I'm just going to get rid of the one, which would be this red one, mm -hmm. to gain one there, and I get one Kyperium. Yep. And that is, that is all I'll do. And I have played, I've got the red bonus unlocked. So I'll place a worker and it will go. Uh, where do I want it? Yeah, there's fine. Okay, your turn. Okay. I don't remember what my plan was. Oh, I had a plan. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I believe you. <laughs> Millions wouldn't. <laughs> um. Okay. Okay, I'm going to play a card from my... Oops. 
from Secret Lab. From a Secret Lab. And yep. no, sorry, I'm not putting it there. By the way, I'm just gonna, I'm going to put it here. I just wanted to yep. zoom in and show that it had the no Secret Lab symbol on it, which means I had to play yep. it from my Secret Lab. Yes. Um, it's moved up to two workers, mine or an opponent's. Okay. Um, so I'm going to pop him back onto the bot, the mod factory. Ah, uh, the mod factory. Yep. Yeah. And I'll move yours onto. Yeah, can't be a rim. Okay. Very good. All right. I'm going to play this card here. It says, I gain discovery points equal to this card's total synergy. So I've actually lined it up to do three, which will yep, allow so me to move up to this spot. Onto that one. Yeah. Um, and it's a teal card, so I can get my bonus, which I will pay one Kyperium to just push this guy back over here. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Uh, Dan, you've got one of the designers on your side, Matt. No, I saw He's Matt's in the, the chat. Re- Thanks, for Matt. For the record, I'm on Team Dan. I've seen Jules win this game too many times. <laughs> yep. I do, oh, I do have that advantage. Worker. All right, you're placing there. Okay, um, I'm I can count on to... one. I can count on one finger the amount of times I've played this game. That's it, yep. Um, I'm going to do a discard hand and draw four for my turn. Cool. So... I had none in hand, so I just draw four cards. You can finally have your recall. Yeah, but I don't know if I want to, to be honest. Oh, really? Interesting. Well, I'll do it only just for the interest of trying to catch up. But the reason I don't want to do it is because I'm going to be modifying a blue card. And there's obviously more more to gain if I do a different color because I already have blue yes. unlocked. Yes, that's right. Um. So whereas you've got three you... different ones unlocked now, but mm. at the same time I don't have I don't have enough synergies linked up with any other card. Yeah, um, right. Oh, hang on, that one gives me four. One, two, three. Which is what I was looking at anyway. But again, that's blue. So both of my blue cards have give me the most synergies here. Yeah, interesting. Um, not great, just interesting. Yeah. Um, yeah. Um, ba, ba, ba. okay. Yeah. So it's, it'll catch me up, but it's not going to help me in the end game. Uh, okay. So I'm going to recall this, this one, which gives me one discovery point and one Kyperium. Uh, yep. So oop, Kyperium and one discovery point moves me along the track to there. Mm-hmm. I'll recall this one, which gives me one Kyperium. Which yep. Jules was so insistent on me having that spot. <laughs> I'm just going to put a couple Kyperium up there because we know what's happening next. <clears throat> yep. um, and then this one I'm going to recall, which allows me to use the mod factory, which is going to cost me mm-hmm. four Kyperium. So I pop them in there. And I'm going to... Let me just double check something. <laughs> Huh, that's funny. It's almost the same. I'm obviously checking out the, the synergies of my other cards. Yeah, okay. All right, since they're both they're both going to okay this let me just let me double check this one's going to give me four mm-hmm. so there's one two uh the wild next to a dead light so it doesn't help me um yep three four or this one will yep give that's me, correct this one gives me four as well one two no it gives me three just three yeah yeah okay i'll do i'll do the four so i'll take this okay. one out of play so there's those four synergies yep. which is one um i'll take Two, three. So I'll give. I'll take the option of two yep. extra cards. Yep. Oh, hang on. How many have I got? One, two, three, four, five, six. So I can really take one of them, which was the problem I had before. Um, but you can take one and put in Secret Lab. Remember? Okay. So take one off the top, and then also put one from my hand in the Secret Lab. Yep, that's right. 
Okay, I'll take one from the top and I'll pop something secret later in a second. And then my fourth yep. discovery point will just move me down the track one more. Yeah. Perfect. Kill. Cool. All right, this one flips. Goes. And that was a discovery. blue card, which you've already unlocked the, yeah. the bonus for. Yeah. yeah. That, was un- that was unavoidable. Yeah. Okay. All right. Um, tricky decisions here. Very tricky decisions. I don't feel like I need this. Hmm. Well, actually, that's not a terrible spot. Yeah, all right. I'll put this here. Uh, It says I can discard a card from my staging area. Uh, If the opponent is further up the track, then I can discard from their staging area, which is not the case. But I may discard a card from my staging area. I'm actually not going to. I don't feel like I need to do that at this point. So I'm really playing the card because I've unlocked that synergy, um, that bonus, the teal, which I'm going to use to just place out uh, a worker. Mm-hmm. So that's my turn done. I just realized I hadn't put something under, under the secret lab, so that's there now. Um do, 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 do. These cards are so bad for my synergy. I something happened last time as well. I just mm. I can't I can't I can't see the matrix. It hasn't clicked for me yet in terms of card yeah, placement. Yeah, it's a real spatial puzzle. Yeah, but of course I need it because there's, there's, there's a four and a five required right at the end. That's right. Yeah, so you definitely towards the end of this game, you need to be working at getting ready some synergies mm. to pull off mm-hmm, those four mm-hmm, or five mm-hmm. points at once. Yeah. So I have put out a card now that does have the yeah, um, saw that. the bonus. So and a third Kyperium, if you're recalling all three workers at once on that card up the back there. This has definitely played out very different to our first game. (laughs) Yeah. Your staging area is very small and it's been quite frustrating for me. (laughs) For you. So my for my (laughs) worker placement spots have been very limited. Yeah. And I've been Kyperian poor a lot of the game. I've been the opposite. I've been I've been doing it right too. Yeah, you've had Kyperium out the wazoo. Yes. But nothing to actually Use it on nothing great. Yeah, no, that's, that's I, right. I've just I've just placed a worker, by the way. Place a worker. Yeah, I did. Cool. Yes. Uh... All right, let's go. Um. Yeah, let's play this one, but where? Where is the question? I th- think... I think we're going here. So this allows me to discard a KP bot, or red card, from my staging area, then I gain its recall reward. So I'm just going to discard this card you put a worker on. Of course you are. So I gain a Kyperion <coughs> and two points. Mm-hmm. You can take him home. And I'll gain two points. And that is a red card. 
which I have the bonus for. So I'm going to put out another worker, which is going to go. Uh, oh, where do I want it? Yeah, I'll go here. That's me done. Okay. Replace this one from my. Put it. Uh, I don't know why. From it. Secret Lab? Yeah, it's from Secret Lab. It's not helpful, but I'll put, yeah, I'll put, I'll put it there. So I get to remove a worker, yours or an opponent's. And then if my opponent's further up, I get to play a worker. You can play a worker. I'll turn nice. this one back since you were so keen to put it there. Okay. Um, I don't think it's going to hurt you too much, but... I think no, probably not. Like one, <laughs> two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm going to play a worker. There. Okay. That's my turn. All right. Um... Ah, uh, look. Maybe I'm just going to place a worker. It's going to go here this time. Okay. Your turn. I'm going to place a worker on the mod factory. On the mod factory. Okay. Yep. I'm going to recall. Yeah. So pull him and get one Kyperium. Pull this guy. Get to draw a card or place in my secret lab. I'm going to draw a card and I get a point. So I'll move up one and I'll recall this guy to get one Kyperium and destroy two of yours. Yep. Finally whistling down that pile. Ha, yeah. Your turn. Hmm, indeed. Oh, these cards are garbage. Okay, I'm going to place this card down here, mm -hmm. uh, the blue one, which allows me to destroy one of yours and then, well, two, because you're further up the track than me. So two Kyperium get destroyed. Okay. Yep. And because it was a blue one that I've placed, I yes. gain one. Oh, I can place a, sorry, I can play a worker or gain one and destroy one of yours. I'll gain one. Yes. And Gain and destroy? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Do Destroyed it. another one. Ouch. All right. That changes things. <clears throat> Let's... Uh... Ooh, okay. All right. Let's play this card here. So I destroy one Kyperium and it has an effect if I play it from my secret lab, which I didn't. But in that case, I'll just be destroying one of your Kyperium. One of mine? Okay. Yep. And I haven't unlocked that bonus yet, so nothing else happens. Cool. Oh, here we go. Has he got a plan? You, yeah, a semblance of one. <laughs> um, you can play. You can play cards diagonally in your staging area. Yes, as long yep. as it's touching as as something the diagonal. Is touching. Yeah, yep, okay. that's right. I'm gonna play this one, which is that I can discard up to two cards from my hand, 
and gain two Kyperion Ooh. for each one I dis discard. Oh, nice. Well, I've got Very nice. ones that I don't know what to do with, and so I think if I discard them, I can actually... Yeah, nice. Um... <laughs> Having said that, now I don't know which ones to get rid of. I am. Um, <laughs> I'm just going to bite the bullet. Okay, I'm going to get rid of this one. Don't discard yep. one. I'll just take two. Ki I'll just take the two Kyperium. Yep. Um. Oops. Hang on. And then because I played a blue card, I get to yes. either play a worker or get another cup here and destroy one of yours. I'm just going to play a worker. Okay. Um, and I'll play it here. Cool. Hmm. So you chose to discard one instead of two for that action. Yes. Yep. Okay. No problem. All right, I am going to. I'm going to play this card here. So it says, I get to look at your opponent's hand and I force you to play one of the cards as your next action. Okay. So. And that is a red card. So I'm going to place out a worker because I can. It'll go there. So how do I share my cards with you on this? Uh, I can just look at them. Oh, you can? Oh, no, that's the backs. No, so you'll have to pull them out and just put them yeah. here. The joys of TTS. Yeah. All right. That one. Nah. Nah. Yeah, they're not great. Move <laughs> Yeah, you can play that one as your next action. Cool. What is it? If your opponent has no workers, you get to play a worker. Yeah. It'll be wasted. Yeah. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> so that is your next action. You must yeah, play that Yeah, my card. action is I'll pop it over here. Yeah. Cool. Done. Back to me. So... I am going to uh, I'm gonna place a worker here. Your turn. Hmm. I'm gonna recall my workers before you start screwing me over anymore. <laughs> um Okay. So the next step on this track is actually a three, so I need to recall my you need to get three points in one action. I yep. need to recall my Bot factory, my mod factory first. Yeah. Um, and spend four Kyperium. Yep. I'll just move. Oh, I'll put them in. Four. Perfect. Okay. Which card are you going to complete? What have I done? I haven't got one of the three. Uh, yeah, you do have one. This one. Oh, the wild. No? Yeah, the wild. I didn't yeah. see that. Yep. Yep. Okay. Oh, I'm going to do this all, one, all the wild card, All the wild card itself. Because you got down yeah, here. That's true. And these two reds. Got two options. Um, I'm just going to have a look at what these are. So the red one, the other option is gain a, a victory point. Uh, the grey one I haven't unlocked yet. That is draw two cards or or place in secret lab. Or play That's a worker. Good. Yes. All of them are play a worker or, and it has a unique um, bonus. Oh, draw two cards. Yeah, okay. Yeah. That's when I play a silver card. All right. I'll, I'll take the silver one out. Yeah, which cool. was three. So there's two yes. red here, one, two, and then there's three over there, which are the red. The red. Yep. So 
that's three. One, two, three. Yep. Cool. I'll flip that and remove it. Mm -hmm. um, and then this one here, recall that worker, I get a discovery point and a Kyperium. Yep. That discovery point. This one is a card and a discovery point. Yep. Whoops. Draw a card into my hand and move a discovery point. I'm coming to get you. Beautiful. Oh, yeah, you're the right behind me now. <laughs> right you? behind me. Okay. Back to me. So, I think what we're going to do is uh, go to Mod Factory and it's your turn. Hmm. Um, let me just double check. That was the silver one I did, wasn't it? So I flipped this. Uh, yes, it was. Over. Yep. Yep. We're definitely closing down on the finish oh, line. Oh, we're in the end game. We're in the end game. I can feel it. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to put this out, which is mm -hmm. move a card from your opponent's staging area to a new location. Ooh, right. You get to shift something. What have you been cooking up here? <laughs> I've actually got a few options on the boil. <laughs> I can see that. <laughs> Hmm. Hey, Matt, if you're watching, can you tell me which card to... <laughs> okay, that's... <laughs> yeah, you've got some good stuff out there. Yeah, I've, I've been preparing a while. Been preparing for a while. Okay. I think I'll move this one. Yeah, over here. that's a good one. Good call. Best one. That, that had six synergy, that one. Yeah. Yeah, nice one. All right. Over to me. All right, recalling. So I'm going to pull this one. I will get three Kyperium because I'm recalling all three of my workers at once. Mm -hmm. I'll recall this guy, which will give me two. And recall this one from the mod factory. So I'll spend four, put four back in the bag. And I will complete, uh, which one do I want to do? Uh, I think, I think I'll just do this one. Mm. Or actually, no. One. Uh, I'm going to do this one up here. Okay. So the synergy is one, two, three, four, yeah. five. So I'm sort of burning a point here, but that's okay. Complete that one will move me up to the number four planet. And that is my turn done. That may have been a mistake. Oh well. <laughs> Mistakes were made. I could have done something. I could have done something else. Can I switch it? <laughs> I think you're far enough ahead that it. <laughs> All right, do this one instead. It actually has one, two, three, four. So you're not that wasting not... anything. No, I'm not wasting anything. It doesn't change anything. I'm okay anything, with really. that. All done. I've got Ian O'Toole here. Hey, Ian. Hello. 
I need to channel some of my <clears throat> my inner inner you know tool. Your inner what? <laughs> my inner Ian O'Toole. <laughs> See into the Matrix. Yeah. Uh, this, I, I really enjoy this game. It's, oh, me too. It's such, a, it's such a clever back and forth, super take that game with a spatial puzzle that's very tricky and satisfying at the same badly. time. No, no, you've definitely got some things cooking. I can see on your side. It, pre, most games I've played of this have been very tight and very close. Mm. I've never seen like a complete blowout before. Okay, I'm gonna. Oh, it's a really nice one too. All right, I'm gonna place a worker. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna place. I'll place this one here. Yep. All right. I'll place a worker too. Hmm. Oh, that was a mistake. Um, that's okay. I'm just looking at where <laughs> I am on the track. There's no that the two discovery points don't help me anyway. No. One of them will. Yes. Let me place this one here. Okay. I'm going to place a work. Whoa, that's not a worker. That's a copy room. I'm placing a worker here. Um, I, I'm going to recall my workers. Oh, okay. Well. Yeah, I've made an, I've made an error anyway, so I'll recall. Because um, I know you're gearing up for, you're gearing up for the last little hurrah there. Hmm. I'll tell you what, I'll place this instead. Okay. I'll place this card here. Yeah. You just get to choose an opponent's worker and gain that recall reward. So I'm oh, going okay, to so you just choose. So you're not yeah. removing yeah. it, you just get I'm going the to reward. choose this one. And the recall reward yep. is to two Kyperium. Okay. So one, two. Yep. Beautiful. All right, I'm going to recall. So yeah. I think I'm done. Pull him. You're done, aren't you? There, that's it. Recall yeah. him. I'll spend my four Kyperium. And that project I accidentally did before, I'll do this five. One. So that's one, two, three. I shouldn't have three, let you take four. that back. <laughs> <laughs> You're a gracious opponent. I am. And that was the five. And that is the game. Very good. Good game. GG, Jules. Well, I hope uh, everyone watching you enjoyed that. That is Kyperium. Um, hopefully, we've taught this nice and concisely. There hasn't been any mistakes along the way. Again, just to re reiterate, um, this is not in final form. If there's The rules are pretty final. If there's any changes from here regarding rules or artwork, it's going to be minor changes but it will be on Kickstarter soon. There is a link in the description of the video to go sign up and join the mail list for that campaign. So if you could do that, that would be awesome. We're supporting, um, I guess, some first-time publishers here. This is a small project, but they've made a fantastic game. I really yeah, enjoy this. The back, that's excellent. The back and forth, the spatial puzzle, it's all really good. Any other thoughts from you, Dan? No, no, like the second time I played it, I still really enjoy it. I like the balance. I like that um, mm. you can put some sort of good action cards out for yourself, but the reward is for me if I want to go there. Yes. And, and vice versa. Um, yeah, it's, it's, 
there's a couple of different mechanics at play at the same time, particularly the spatial puzzle, which doesn't really matter in the early the early instances of the game, but then towards the yeah. end, it's super important, which is where I got caught out. I found myself trying to find cards to to set myself up for the four and the five, and I, at the moment, I still don't have I don't have that. I still was a couple of rounds, a couple of turns away from getting that. Um, yeah, but no, it's great. I, I enjoy it. I'm looking forward to a rematch, Jules. Absolutely. Yeah, I thoroughly enjoyed it. Thanks again for playing, Dan. And no worries. thank you for everyone for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this and we'll uh, see you next time. Bye. Bye.